She explains why she's not feeling Kamala Harris and the Democratic Party. So I scrolled past a video of uh, Kamala Harris and she was talking to, I think, APEC or whatever. I'll play this. I'm, I'm going to play the clip for y'all. But she was talking about uh, sending aid, which she, part of what she, her plan is that she's going to send more aid to Israel and uh, of the sum of like $38 billion or something like that. And, and then another portion, another clip from another segment that she was talking about how she has no plans to do anything specific for black people. Is why I support the United States commitment to provide Israel with $38 billion in military assistance over the next decade. Now, what I just don't understand about these politicians is why is giving away more money? Why is that always the top priority with these politicians? Like, what is it that what is the benefit to us as a society here in America to giving away more money, hiking up, which in, in tune really hikes up more inflation, causes every all the prices of everything to go up. So we're paying more for the same things. And yet we're sending all of this money. You know, supposedly we, we can't afford this and we can't afford that, but we can afford to fund more wars. We can afford to spend more money overseas. Something isn't adding up. And I really think we need to be in on this, like as a people, I feel like we should be able to at least vote on some of this spending that they're doing. Because yeah, we can vote for the politicians, but we don't get to vote on how they spend our money. It's like, why are we not a priority right here in America, right here on this soil? Why are we not the priority? So I'm not gonna sit here and say, I'm gonna do something that's only gonna benefit black people. No. I you know, it's like you, you're you so quick to, to run, hop, skip and jump to send aid overseas to another country and to basically fund the entire world. But you have no plans for helping the people who are living right here on the soil, the people who built the country. It's like these politicians are so phony and so fake that I literally feel like I can physically see the puppeteers hand up their ass like as they're talking. I'm just seeing right through all the bullshit. I'm just seeing how fake they are. I'm seeing how ridiculous the things that they're saying actually sound and how they really don't have any real plans to really truly do anything of substance, to really do anything that's actually positive and taking us in a positive direction. Like they write up all these policies for, you know, LGBT and for um, this country and that country send money over here, send money over there, help them help this, help that. But anything like if we ask for something, especially in the black community, if we ask for something. Oh, no, nah, y'all don't need nothing. We, you know, nah, brush them off. So I'm not going to sit here and say I'm going to do something that's only going to benefit black people. No. Which and I'm sorry, y'all, but this is particularly with the Democratic Party. Like we have our heads stuck so far up as a community stuck so far up the Democratic Party's ass that we can't even actually physically see that they're not doing anything for us and they never actually have done anything for us. But we're so hell bent on having this sort of like commitment to them as if we owe them something like we owe them our vote just because we're black. And I'm not saying that we should vote Republican, but I am saying that at least hold these politicians accountable, make them do something for us. Like literally y'all, nothing is going to change. Like Kamala Harris, she's not going to do anything substantial for us. There is no reason why we should just voluntarily give her our vote. There are other options. We don't have to vote for Democratic or Republican. We do, there are other options. There's independent. I mean, so I'm, I'm just saying, I'm not, I don't, I'm not a political expert, okay? I get, you know, I'm an average citizen. I'm not an expert. This is not my field of expertise, but I'm just saying, like, I'm, I'm just not feeling either one. And I'm certainly not feeling Kamala Harris. I'm sorry. I, I just can't. I, I don't know. I'm just not feeling her.